Hello everyone, this is CottonMailExcision.com. Today I want to be showing you in Bandicam how to get your videos ready for 60 FPS recording on YouTube. YouTube has recently added 60 FPS recording and what it will do is when you go into the little uh, cog settings on YouTube, you will get a little menu and you can change it to 720p 60 frames per second. So if a video is uploaded with the 60 frames per second, you will be able to view it 60 frames per second. Right now, this video is going to be recorded in 30 because 60 FPS and 30 FPS is very minimal as far as quality, and this is mostly a screencast. Therefore, there's not any need to show you a 60 FPS recording. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your DirectX OpenGL. Oops, I guess I can't do that. The settings are going to basically be the same. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to your video, and you're going to have your video settings. Go to your settings and you're going to want to record it. You want to come into here. I choose MP4. AVI and MP4. MP4 is newly supported in the most recent release from Bandicam. And it is a far better option than AVI. AVI is not as widely accepted as MP4. And MP4 generally has a better compression ratio. Meaning your videos will be lighter. And you should see very minimal difference in quality. Not only that, but if you send the video to someone else, the MP4 will be more compatible than an AVI file. That's because AVI was developed by Microsoft in the early 1992 is when it was first released. And AVI was never wildly accepted as the MPEG-4, which was the Motion Picture Association. And MP4 has been wild, wild, wildly successful. It's been accepted on, mo on most mobile devices. You can view it on Xboxes. Um, pretty much any device that you can think of, you should be able to view it in MP4. Software such as uh, Windows Media Player will also support it. AVI, on the other hand, is not as common. It will only be supported on specific platforms in which Microsoft has generally coded it in themselves. That's because people never adopted it. What you're going to do is you're going to come into here and you're going to go into your codec and make sure it's all. It's, you only have one option. If you choose MP4, if you choose AVI, choose XFID over the rest. I always recommend MP4 though, and then come into your FPS and turn it up to 60. Whenever you increase your FPS, you will get a major increase in the file size. Typically, my videos are recorded in 30 and then they're compressed even more. When you're recording an hour long video of you playing some game and you try to do that every day, it's going to hurt you. To get this, you can make it just hit your 60 FPS and you're, you should be ready. When you want to go to upload, make sure that you do not compress it or else the frame rate will drop. Keep the quality at 100%. Keep your bit rate at 192. You also want to turn up your frequency to 48,000 48, hertz and your bit rate will be at 192 kilobits per second. If you come over to the AVI, you do get a higher recording for your bitrate, but this isn't necessary for MP4. MP4 files are smaller and they don't need to go any higher. Not only that, but you'll notice very little difference in 192 to the AVI's 384. After you've done that, after you do that, you can go to YouTube and upload it directly. Make sure that your video comes out in the highest possible quality. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.